I want to apologize to Nip. Yeah, yeah, to all the, on behalf of all the Crips and the Rolling Sixties and the Nipsey Hustle fans or the rapper, I'm sorry. Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookahanonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, Charleston White, as y'all know, I don't know what he been on. You know, he diss almost every artist in the industry. He make it seem like he's trying to give out a message to the young kids. And he was doing that at one point in time. However, it seems like somewhere, somehow, he lost, you know, the message through the attention and the clout. Me personally, that's what I think. I think once he started to see the clout, once he started getting all the interviews and he see that he could mention this rapper name and they get him this type of reaction, he started going off the deep end. You know, he dissed Nipsey, King Vaughn, all the guys that, you know, passed away that a lot of people idolized or they seen as, you know, People that they look up to, especially rappers, he finds a way to diss them. Now, it's kind of dangerous for them too because in a heartbeat, he'll tell you he's calling the cops, he's snitching, he don't care, you know? And I found that interesting that now he wants to apologize to Nipsey Hussle. Um, I don't know what happened, what transpired. At first, I thought when I seen the video that maybe somebody was behind the camera and probably had, you know, a weapon to him, forcing him to do it or something. But he didn't give me no indication that that's what it was. However, he did say that a crip by the name of Crip Mac came to him, had a, uh, a discussion, and now he's pretty much apologizing, apologizing to Nipsey Hussle, uh, Nipsey's family, and the other crips. Um... Once again, I don't know if maybe they sent him a message like, yo, you better stop, you know, or threaten. Who knows why? He never got into why he, he's doing a apology. He just said who the reason was, which was Crip Mac, but he didn't, he didn't get into much detail. Um, Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of surprised because he has said a lot about Nipsey, just like he, like he did with King Vaughn. And to see him apologize to Nipsey and not King Vaughn, it was kind of crazy. That That's what kind of get me wondering why, you know. They threaten him. Who knows? Uh, you never know with Charleston White. <laughs> that guy's a comedian. At this point, people don't pay him no mind. But you know he's around. So um, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know why y'all think um he apologized in the Nipsey Hustle. Why he had a sudden change of heart? Because he usually doesn't apologize. And he uh he usually says the reason why he don't apologize is because before he say what he say, he know what he's saying. So he don't apologize. But I guess this one is kind of different. So. Y'all let me know how y'all feel, man. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.